lock them. Do, 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 do. What did I think? It's 74 degrees. That's enough for now.
It's Monday. Actually, it's Tuesday. What am I talking about? It's Tuesday. It's not Monday. It's Tuesday. So this video here will be hot off the presses in real time. This all happened today. Got the uh, new Unger... The new Unger Pro Bucket. Is that what it's called? Let's, let's call it by the right name here. Yeah, I got the uh, new Unger Pro Bucket, the, the three gallon. Um, it comes with a little rack to hold your washer, a little bracket to hold your squeegee. Um, the handle swivels and it locks in place up top, so that's pretty cool. Um, only thing I don't like is that it didn't come with a lid. Like, I feel like it should have came with a lid. This is... Uh, when I saw it, first out of the box, I was like, man, this would be a nice little bucket to store my 14-inch washer and my 14-inch squeegee for residential window cleaning. Perfect little bucket you could take inside, put like a gallon of water in it. You know, that way you don't have to come back in and out. Um, it'll fit in the floorboard of your car, your truck, you know, right off here on the passenger side if you wanted to in the winter time. Uh, a lid would have been cool now I don't know if I just got the version without a lid or they don't make a lid but it would be cool if it had a lid there's really not a lot to review on a bucket let's be honest um, first things first it holds water second thing is it's small it's a small bucket that's also cool I'm trying to save space in your vehicle um, again like if you want to have a special setup residential window cleaning you got that sitting in there it's ready to go fill her up with water pop the lid off and um, you know you're ready to go clean windows cool use the uh, ninja channel today since I'm I'm reviewing I'm reviewing the uh, three gallon bucket <laughs> it still holds water I put water in it this morning. It's still in there. Slift, nifty little number here. Yeah. It's dope, bros. Cheating, using my 18 inch bucket. My 20 inch bucket. I'm gonna figure I'll go all Unger tools. I don't use this Ninja channel very often. Actually, I never use it. All right, well. I guess we'll, guess we'll get after these wonders here. Yeah, I don't use this uh, Ninja Channel, man. I did when it first came out, but it has its limitations. Since I've got a new three-gallon bucket that I got to talk about, I figured I might as well use as much Unger stuff as possible in this video. Got my Ninja T-Bar. I do have a Maker Python sleeve on there, or I'm sorry, Scotsman sleeve. But you know, I didn't feel like digging out an Unger sleeve. I love seagull shit. It's my favorite thing. Next to bushes, of course. Anybody else notice that these uh, Ninja channels won't allow you to get all the way over on a window? Leaves a little line on the edge. Not bad channels. They just got too many shortcomings to be an effective replacement for a sorbo channel, which is why I primarily use sorbo channels. Seagulls. There's only one thing that I like more than seagull shit, and that's bushes. Love them. Seagull shit and bushes. It's a way of life. Boy, I miss Black Diamond Platinum. I've only been using this green rubber a morning on commercial glass. And it does, it's not bad, this green rubber. 
I would say this is more for residential window cleaning. I don't know. It's just really expensive. Really expensive. And of course, no replacement for the zero degree baby. Before, I don't know. This hands down the best fanning tool for a pole. I don't care what nobody says. Dude's gonna be like, what about the accelerator? And what about it? What about it? I was fanning on a pole before an accelerator was even a thing with the zero degree. I like them apples. James Riley did that. I'm cleaning windows with one hand on a pole thing. You know, see that guys? The J2 challenge. You wanna impress me, bitch? Do you? Jump up in the air and fucking stay there. <laughs> fucking douche. I'm a douche. I'm such a dick. Oh, fuck, I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> so, yeah. The Younger Pro Bucket. It's three gallons. It's got nozzles on opposite corners. Doesn't come with a lid, super bummer. I feel like the fucking cockroach guy fucking in Men in Black 2 right now. Fucking heartburn. <laughs> It did the thing, man. It it holds water. Um, holds tools. It's nice, but this video kind of just a bunch of Unger stuff. Um, the Ninja Handle, the Ninja Channel. I'm not a big fan of the Ninja Channel. Um, I started out, first squeegee I ever got in my hand was uh, a Sorbo Quicksilver with a sorbo handle you know the old style sorbo handles you know i did a lot of pole work i we didn't carry a you know a-frame ladders when i started everything was done by a pole so you know you guys have seen me clean windows how i clean windows how i clear the top out first and then go back by hand and fan the paint down afterwards well <clears throat> When the Ninja stuff came out, of course, you know, the handle locked. So I'm instantly interested in that because it's nice when your squeegee is pivoting and moving freely when it's on a pull. But when you get it in your hand, you know, it tends to give your arm pump in your forearms trying to hold the head of the squeegee, you know, still while you're fanning glass. So the Unger Ninja handle the 40 degree handle they eventually came out with i think it's a 30 or 35 i'm not exactly sure i think it's a 30 not too long after i like that one too but uh it had the locking feature on it so i could i can use my wide body channel on a pole it swivels and then as soon as i'm ready to fan it i can lock it and clean out the rest of the pane without uh, the head of the squeegee flopping around, you know? Less mistakes that way, a lot faster. So of course I switched to that handle, but I found with the Ninja channel, those big plastic clips on the end, just made getting around certain objects like doors and things like that. It's always banging and clanging and getting hung on stuff, but uh, of course I you know put my sorbo channel in that handle it's the logical thing to do and I've never looked back since however I've got a hold of that a package of that 18 inch under green rubber that I've been kind of messing around with the last three or four months and uh, you know this is a good opportunity to use it in a commercial setting I've got the new unger bucket so i'm gonna bust out all my unger tools 
and go uh, do a whole video with under tools. You know what I'm saying? And uh, everything. I mean, I again, I the rubber's nice. I mean, it's not rubber. It's like silicone or something. I'm not exactly sure. It's nice. It. I mean, it takes forever to wear it out. Um, I do find, however, there are times that it gets a little sticky on the glass. You know, but uh, just bump up your ammonia concentration. You're good to go. A little more squeegee glide. Nothing glides better. Well, nothing will make a squeegee glide better than a good dose of ammonia in your bucket. You heard it here from T Squeegee. What about the tent, T Squeegee? Man, just don't get the tent wet and leave it on there and then, you know, go home. Like, just get it off the tent. It'll be fine, guys. Been using ammonia in my water for 20 years. And not that cheap shit with the lemon scented, the hot or the hardware store version. Like you get at Ace Hardware. Mark Tanner too, and he's been cleaning longer than I have. And he works in Florida. He has no issues either. Best squeegee glide on the planet. It's bad for you. Being alive is bad for you. Just so you guys know. But, you know, and of course everyone knows. It's not a secret. I am a huge Unger zero degree handle guy. That is my thing. It's the best zero degree fanning on a pole. I don't care what nobody says. What about the accelerator? I don't care. I said what I said. Diego Garcia is going to watch this and be like, fool, the Ettore zero degree is way better. And I just have to disagree. I tried it. Nah, it's no bueno. No bueno. No bueno, Diego. I'm getting ready to go back to the house and make some meatballs for meatball subs and all that stuff speaking of subs subscribe to my channel i'd really appreciate it if you did hit the like share this around um and don't forget there's a link in my comments or i'm sorry in the description there's a link that very first link is my affiliate affiliate link someone was kind enough on the last video to do their shopping through that link so what you do is, it's like, hey, I want to go buy something from WCR, which this video is sponsored by WCR. I mean, that's where I got my bucket from. But uh, if you'd like to try this bucket out, or the Unger Green Rubber, or the Ninja Channel, or the Ninja Handle, or the Ninja T-Bar, any of the stuff you see in this video, do me a favor. Do me a solid. Do me a solid. Go to my video. Click the link, go through, fill your cart up with stuff, and check out. And I know you're saying, I don't need stuff right now. I'm just saying, like, later on, keep me in, keep old T-Squeege in mind. Be like, you know what? I'm going to go back to the T-Squeege video. I'm going to click the link. I'm going to fill my cart with awesome gear from WCR. You know, TJ's going to get a kickback. And I'm telling you, man, it's a huge one, dudes. I'm going to be rolling in the dough. Not only am I going to be rolling in the dough, I'm going to be swimming in that shit. So we so much money I'm not gonna know what to do with. I'm gonna end up cleaning windows no more. I'm just gonna ride around in my truck and wait for people to click links. It's gonna be great. It's probably not gonna do that. Actually it's not gonna do that at all. <laughs> I'll probably get a couple dollars. But it helps me out. Helps me buy uh memory cards and batteries and stuff you know what i mean helps me you know do stuff like that so i can shoot more cool videos for you upgrade equipment stuff like that but you don't have to do that either you don't have to do that but it'd be cool if you did it'd be cool if you did and if you don't want to click my link call steve zero the number will be in there somewhere i'll put it in here i'll put it i'll put it somewhere right right there i'll put it right there and then you can call Steve Zero and uh, buy stuff from him. Or you can click the link. I'd prefer it if you click the link. Steve O's rich enough as it is. I need them Steve O dollars. Steve Zero. I keep messing that up. Steve Zero. Steve Zero. Speaking of Steve Zero, Mark's March Madness ends this Thursday. With the illustrious Steve Zero. He'll be our guest this Thursday night. 
at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time live on this channel or you go to Facebook and you can find us on Facebook we'll Facebook link it we'll do we'll stream on both Facebook and YouTube's and you can watch it together but yeah man check it out Thursday night 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time you can talk in the chat ask questions we answer them Mark's March Madness ends this Thursday with Steve-O, the window cleaner, Steve Zero, formerly, the, the, the artist formerly known as Steve-O, Steve Zero, is going to be on the podcast this Thursday night, ending Mark's March Madness, which has been all high-rise oriented, and I got to tell you guys, it has been a great week, uh, month of interviews on the podcast, I mean, Fletcher Denning was an absolute treat, um, great guy i can't i can't wait to have him on again um mike arosa total madman um did an interview on the podcast hanging off the side of a building it was absolutely it was the cool one of the coolest thing that's ever happened on the show then we had jeffrey scott which was one of my wish list guys that i've wanted on for years we got him on Excellent, informative show. Guy's been around, seen it all, and now he's like a safety guru. You know what I mean? And then we rounded it up with Michael Draper, formerly of American Window Cleaner Magazine. That was excellent interview too, man. Such a great guy. Awesome dudes, all four. I can't wait till next March. Maybe we'll have the same four guys back. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe more high-rise guys will be like, hey, can I come on? You never know, but... Great month of podcasts, and uh, we're going to finish it off with Steve Zero, man. It's going to be sweet, dudes. It's going to be real sweet. Yeah. So, as you guys can see, the bucket, I mean, it bucketed all day. It's still got water in it, still holding water. We put 14-inch tools in it. It's got cool little spouts on either end of the bucket. Holds things. You can dip it. You can dip in there. Then you can strain. And then you can like hold your squeegee there. And the most important thing is it buckets.